I don't have a song for you. I don't got nothing. So, yeah, let's just start. I'm unpredictable. Y'all don't know. Y'all think I do songs every single time. But maybe I don't want to do a song this time. I don't want to do a song this video. So, bam. Here you go. Let's get right into the doggone review. Ha! No. Song your boy, D'Anthony. Uh, just uh, got through seeing Friends from College. Another Netflix uh, that just came out. Another Netflix original just came out this month and I wanted to go ahead and do a review on it. What you guys think about my, my, about my display case? It's pretty cool, right? Yes, I'm an out-of-the-box collector. I love pops and I just think they just look better outside the box. Uh, but I just built this my custom display case right here. This is five feet. This custom right here, baby. All heart, all heart. But anyway, so got just got through watching uh, Friends from College. Now, I was a little apprehensive, really, uh, because, honestly, I didn't see a lot of people who look like me in the cast. But I do like Keegan-Michael Keel. I do like him. So I was like, you know what? Mm, this might be funny. Let's just see. So, it's a, it's a, I think it's eight episodes. Uh, so I started out with the first one. You know, you got to start from the beginning. I mean, there's some other people that, that is in it. Um, I guess Annie... Paris, um, J. Sue Park. There's some people in it, you know, but only person I really knew was Keegan Michael uh, Peel. So that's why I watched it. Eight episodes. So I started with the first one. Boom. It was a little slow. It was a little. I felt like sometimes with these Netflix uh, shows, they just don't know how to do the first episode. The first episode should be a catch or it should be a hook. You know, like, I should be like, huh, what is this? Huh? I shouldn't be like, okay, let's go. Let's get to the part that's going to be good. Let's come on. I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be having to do that. But I have watched a couple or several good series from Netflix where I had to do that. So I knew, just push through this first episode. And I feel like that's what you're going to have to do. Uh, but it starts off, Keegan is, you know, with this, this lady chick and they're, you know, they're, they're having sex. And, or trying to, kind of, I don't know, but, uh, and I'm thinking that's his wife, and, you know, they're talking about menopause, sex without a condom, and she ends up saying, you know, things that, well, you wouldn't really have those type of conversations during sex, but someone that you know, you know, like that, that I can see that could be his wife, you know, all right, fine, that's who they are, um, but... They end up saying, she ended up saying, uh, you've been trying to get me to have sex without a condom for, uh, two decades now, and it's not happened. It's never gonna happen. And I'm like, your wife? I don't, I'm not understanding. It just doesn't start out to where, it, to me, it assumes you know all the characters. And there must have been, like, some first episode they cut out or something like that. And, because they thought it wasn't necessary, but... It just made, to me, the first episode not as strong. Because I'm not really introduced these characters, to me, in a proper way. I'm um, just kind of assuming and then being burnt out because, or molded or tricked or whatever, you know, whatever your terminology is for, for assuming and being wrong. And I felt a certain way. I'm like, oh, that's not his wife? Okay. All right. So it was a little slow. Because then it cuts to, like, some kids, you know, like some little boy calls this girl a cunt. And, you know, all of a sudden it cuts back to them and she got to leave. I'm like, what? Is that her kid? What is? What is happening? And this, to me, it wasn't built properly. Now, once you get past the first 20 minutes of the first episode... I feel you will be hooked. You will be intrigued with what's going on because Keegan, he's having this affair with that lady from the first episode and he has a wife um, and they're all friends. Everybody's friends here. Uh, she knows his wife and he. everyone knows each other. You know, because they're, they're friends from college. Um, after, but after that, it is a very interesting, very funny show. Honestly, to be honest with you, I wish I was a little intoxicated because it would have been a lot funnier. I know 
for a fact, I'd have just been out of my mind about this show if I was a little intoxicated. But even by itself, even sober, as I am most times, uh, it was really funny. You know, like, there were some things about Keegan, I'm like, mm, can you calm down? Like, he's a little over the top, kind of like on the um, Key and Peele show. And I feel like this is not the type of show for you to be acting like that. He's doing all these extra voices, you know, extra, um, I guess, animated voices and things like that. Like, eh, you don't really need to be doing that right now. Because no one else is doing that. This is not the type of show. So I felt like he didn't need to bring that, you know, to his character. But there's a lot of funny things that happen. Um, I really enjoyed it. You know, every character is his own character. And I love how they stay in their character. You know, there isn't like a break. For, as far as the first episode, no one breaks out of character. You know, so the Asian girl, you know, she's kind of like this uh, hippie type of I don't care what society is doing type of personality. Uh, Keegan's wife is a lawyer, and she, you know she's kind of like a little strong. Um, the mistress, I don't know, I don't know anyone's name. I just seen it yesterday. So uh, the mistress um, that he has is, you know, she's like a interior design, real estate type of person. So she's strong headed, um, and and you know what? I like her her husband. I can tell that her husband really loves her. He doesn't get her, which is why, you know, she's having an affair. But he does love her, and I do appreciate love. If, you, if you've been following our channel, you know that I love love. So I do see that. It's just an interesting story arc. Interesting, uh, and I'll call it a story arc just because there's only eight episodes. You know, so it's not a lot. You know, so to me, it's a story arc. We're going to definitely grow I feel because I think it's gonna get another season for sure, and I hope it doesn't. I hope it doesn't take a whole year. Um, but uh, Keegan and his wife are having issues with having a baby, and uh, which is why they were talking about menopause in the first episode. Uh, but they're trying to have a baby, so they do you know uh, the whole injections and stuff like that to I guess hormonal injections so they can she could be more fertile or whatnot. Um, so they deal with that. Um, they deal with um, their significant others, not understanding how they're all friends, you know, um, which I get it. Because if you're not in, if you're not, you know, in the group, you don't get some of these jokes. You don't get the connection. You're like, what? And you try to join in, but you're not really on the same wavelength as them. So they're looking at you like, uh, okay. You know, so it's a little uncomfortable. So you, they're dealing with that, with their significant others looking in on their friendship. And to me, they're dealing with staying friends. They're trying to do all these activities, try to stay, you know, keep it fresh like it was back in college. And I get it. You know, like I, I wish that I could hang out more with, you know, friends from college and friends from high school. You know, it just doesn't turn out to be that way. Um, but I get it. I would love to really just hang out, you know, and be like we were when we were kids, you know, but I think other people wouldn't understand. So I, I understand that part. But overall, I think that it's a funny show. I think that it's a serious show. I think that it's a realistic show. I think that it's an intellectual show. You know, because we have a lot of people, they're mostly successful. Ke well, Keegan isn't, I guess. He's a, uh, I don't want to say a failed writer, but he's not a millionaire. You know what I'm saying? His wife is a lawyer. Uh, the mistress is, I'm going to call her, I keep calling her mistress, but um, his side chick or whatever. You know, she's a architect or something like that. Um... You know, so they they are successful, except for like the Asian girl. Oh man, the Asian chick. She does these plays. Oh, it's so funny. She does the plays. She does these plays where it's kind of like role reversal. So the men will be, will be played by women, and the women will be played by men. And there's this. I know I shouldn't be laughing at this, but there is this rape scene that in in the play that she does, and the way she's looking as she's playing a guy raping a girl who's actually played by a guy. She's like, oh, oh. 
I'm like, what the heck? I don't know what you would be looking like if that was going down, but it was so funny. I think a lot of my favorite parts have her in it, um, but I would just say watch it. Uh, I don't want to give things away. I don't want to talk about certain things that happen in every single episode. But as a whole, it's going to be something you can watch. I binged it, you know, from in about a three-hour time span. I watched all eight episodes. They're, they're about 30 minutes uh, long. Uh, some different. It might be 24, 27, 31, you know. But they're uh, roughly 30-minute episodes, you know. And I, and I I really liked that. I enjoyed it. And I was like, okay, please be the last episode because I got to go to sleep. That's how much I liked them. Uh, so I would definitely say take a look at it. I think it's going to be a hit. I, w I hope it is anyway. But if I had to rate it, I would give it a 4.5 out of uh, 5 stars. Just because of that one episode. Just get through that one episode. The first episode, just go ahead and get through it. And I think you would enjoy the rest of the actual show. Alright guys, that's my review on Friends from College. And uh, check a look at our other videos. Check those out. Let us know what you guys think. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. All right, I'm your boy, DeAnthony. I'm out. Peace.